The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates to the depths of our spirit and does not return void. Come, let us cast our fears and anxieties unto him as we listen to these scripture verses. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. And which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? For I know the plans I have for you, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen and establish you. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed 
you were called in the one body and be thankful casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go teaching them to observe all that i have commanded you and behold i am with you always to the end of the age do not be afraid stand firm and you will see the deliverance the lord will bring you today the egyptians you see today you will never see again so do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good but even if you should suffer for what is right you are blessed do not fear their threats do not be frightened the angel of the lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them he is not afraid of bad news his heart is firm trusting in the lord his heart is steady he will not be afraid until he looks in triumph on his adversaries be strong and courageous and do the work do not be afraid or discouraged for the lord god my god is with you he will not fail you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the temple of the lord is finished the spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again rather the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship and by him we cry abba father peace i leave with you my peace i give to you i do not give to you as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore i will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of christ may rest upon me so we say with confidence the lord is my helper i will not be afraid what can mere mortals do to me for god gave us spirit not of fear but of power and love and self control trust in the lord forever for the lord god is an everlasting rock the lord is my light and my salvation who shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall i be afraid when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy out of my distress i called on the lord the lord answered me and set me free this is my comfort in my affliction that your promise gives me life i sought the lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears when i am afraid i put my trust in you for i consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us and we know that for those who love god 
all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword what then shall we say to these things if god is for us who can be against us i can do all things through him who strengthens me you came near when i called on you you said do not fear i lift my eyes to the hills from where does my help come my help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace